Welcome back to Mid Morning. The Lexington Public Library is kicking off summer programming. And Don Worth joins us to talk about the free educational events on the agenda this season. Welcome. You're already having quite the turnout. And tell us about the scholastic part. That's really cool. Yes. So as part of our kickoff this summer, um, we are having petting zoos at all six of our locations. We had our first one yesterday. We have another one tonight. Um, and then several more um, on Thursday and Saturday. But these kickoff parties, we have a petting zoo, we have a scholastic book fair, so it's similar to what some people may have seen in schools, but it, instead of sending in your book fair money, uh, this we're inviting all children to come in and pick a free book home, uh, a free book that they get to keep and take home, uh, really to incentivize them to, to read throughout the summer. What ages are you all aiming to, to attract with this? Well, there are elements for everybody, really uh, birth to 18. Um, so in this classic book fair, it's everything from board books up to teen fantasy novels. So uh, a little bit of everything. I would say yesterday we probably had people from babies till about 15 or so. Um, and everybody is welcome. There, there are different activities for different age groups. Very cool. Now you have a lot of different summer programming events. Tell us about some of those. We do. So each week throughout the summer, we'll have a different large scale presenter coming in. So we have uh, Kentucky Down Under is coming next week um, to learn some things about Australia. Um, and then we have uh, science programs. We also are doing a STEAM camp um, for girls, middle school girls to try to get them interested in STEAM fields. Um, girls and non-binary students, I should say. Um, a whole lot of different variety of things. So lots of different choices depending on what makes your kids tick. There's going to be something there for them. And kids obviously stay engaged with books during the school year. Is, is this kind of helping them stay, stay activated during the summer? That's the idea is we want kids to make sure to have opportunities to learn and play and connect with other kids during the summer months. Um, I know for me, I have a 13 year old at home and right now, you know, it's kind of a, a constant, there are no camps for that age group, but they're not old enough to get a job either. We want them to have something to be able to do. Um, and, you know, coming to the library is a great way to do that. And I met, I saw there's a free Lex Tran ride provided. There is. So all of our Fayette County Public Schools, as well as several of the private schools, have what, what are called student success library cards. And all a kid has to do uh, in order to use that is get, hop on Lex Tran, show your card, and you get a free ride anywhere, not just to the library. That's awesome. amazing. All the information listed on the website. Be able Absolutely. to go find it there. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you so much. In. Thank you.